What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I will be demonstrating how I do the comb overs and achieve pretty much the perfect comb over look. To get started with the haircut, the first thing I like to do is go ahead and saturate my client's hair completely with water. That's gonna make running the comb through his hair a lot easier and it's gonna allow us to uh, get really solid parting. So right here what I'm basically doing is really just looking for the natural part. In my case it's a lot easier just because I had previously cut it in beforehand so locating the natural part was easier for me. But right here I have my trimmers and my trimmers I have are the Gamma uh, Cyborg trimmers and honestly you guys these are the smoothest trimmers I've used in a while. They're not the strongest I gotta say but the way that these feel and the way that these cut these are super super smooth and I don't even have these zero gapped and they cut through every single hair. It's not going to give me the most crispiest line. Uh, compared to my liners, but these will definitely cut every single hair that you need to cut and more Now to begin working on the fade the first thing I'm gonna be doing is I have my one and a half guard attached to my clipper and I'm basically just gonna be going in and debulking the whole entire area to make it a lot easier for me to be able to see my guidelines and just just to have a neater workspace now on this side just doing the same exact thing continuing to debulk the area and really just flicking now once i get to the top So right here on this side, I like to create a diagonal part on the top of his head just to really separate the top with the sides. Uh, that way I'm not um, cutting into it when I go in with the clipper over comb and really just maintaining that length. So here I'm switching back over to my trimmers to go ahead and set in my bald guidelines starting off at the temple peak point. I'm not leaving any hook so by starting at that point, it's going to allow me to uh, leave a really nice fade. But as you guys can see, these are trimming every single hair, leaving it super even. And these are, I've used them on myself and they're actually really comfortable when you're using them to bald out. Now I'm using my rubble shavers just to go ahead and clean up any of the stubble left behind and making sure that it's nice and bald. So the clippers I'm going to be using today for this haircut are the Stylecraft Rebel Clippers. Uh, here I'm going in with the no guard with the lever all the way open and I'm creating a new guideline by going up about an inch. Now I'm closing my lever all the way and I'm going to start working out the bottom line making sure that I'm flicking up about a quarter of an inch. Now here I'm adjusting my clipper to the halfway position and continuing to blend up a quarter of an inch just really making sure that I'm staying underneath the, uh, the top line which was with the no guard all the way open. Now here I open the lever all the way and then I'm basically just gonna go over the no guard all the way open just to go ahead and clean it up a little bit more. Now here using the number one guard on my clipper starting off with the lever all the way open, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new guideline by going up another inch. 
but at this step i really want to make sure that i'm staying underneath the top guideline which was left with the one and a half guard all the way open So now here I have my half guard attached to the clipper and this time I'm going to be fading from top to bottom starting with the lever at the all the way open position. I'm going to start from the top and slowly start closing the lever little by little to fully get rid of the bottom line. Now here to blend in the fade to the top, I'm going to be using some clipper over comb and really I'm just going to be going in with my comb and really just flaring out because I really want to keep that same shape, kind of like that squared box boxy look. So by flaring out with the comb, it's going to allow me to continue that shape. So for the left side, we're going to be doing the exact same step, starting off with the no guard with the all the way open position. So now that the fade is complete, now it's time to trim the top. So once again, I'm going to be going back in and wetting my client's hair completely. That way it makes the, the, uh, my job a lot easier and makes it easier for my scissors to go through. So right here I'm going to be combing everything over to the side and then I'm going to be starting off in the front and that's going to be my first initial guideline with when it comes to the top. So as soon as I get my first guide I'm going to follow that guide all the way to the back and then um, as I'm going to the back I'm going to be cutting little by little more uh, shorter in a way. That way the front is longer than the back. And these shears that I'm using here are the Faded Culture shears. These are really good. They were really sharp out the box and I've been, once again, I've been using them for a while now and they're still really sharp. So I definitely recommend these. So here for the right side, I'm gonna be finding the lowest point from the clipper over comb and then I'm gonna start to curve my fingers that way it starts to create kind of like an angle that way it goes from short to long So 
Now here for the middle, I'm basically gonna be connecting both the right side and the left side together and just really smooth it all out. So now that the top is cut, I always like to blow dry and style my client's hair. And this uh, oil that I'm putting into his hair right now is the uh, Elegance Hair Serum. This acts like a heat protectant, so that way I don't damage his hair when I go in with the blow dryer. So now, like I said, I'm gonna be going in with my Dyson and using a medium heat setting, I'm gonna be uh, just really trying to get his hair to flow and lay down naturally before I apply any type of product. Now I'm going back in with my trimmers just to go ahead and clean the forehead area, kind of line them up in a way. I'm not going to be going too crazy, he doesn't really like to get lined up too much. Uh, so really just cleaning up the little baby hairs in the front just to make it look better. So my client likes the shiny look on top so I will be using this red one pomade. It works really good when it comes to like styled like comb overs, slick bags, stuff like that. It has a really nice hold, smells great and it just works great. So this is usually the product I use when I do comb overs. So now that I got the product all the way deep into the roots and all over his hair, I'm gonna be using my comb and also the brush to go ahead and finalize the look. So this is the final look. This is the perfect comb over with a nice mid drop fade. If you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up. Also leave your guys' feedback in the comment section down below. And I've been knowing my client for a long time now. I've known him since we were kids. We've been playing soccer since we were kids. And shout outs to him for letting me do this video. But you guys, if you guys would like to purchase any of the tools and equipment I used inside this video, the links will be in the description down below. But that's it for me this week, you guys. I hope you guys have a great day. Stay blessed and I'm out. Peace.